down in us, we find what makes us function, what makes us human, our proteins. And now, we see them like we've never seen them before. The pancreas is an organ located in the abdomen. Within the pancreas, we have structures called the islets of Langerhans. The islets are the ones that produce the protein insulin and are responsible for regulating sugar levels in our bodies. And when all is well, we are healthy. But when the production malfunctions, this leads to diabetes. Within the Human Protein Atlas project, researchers are mapping out all of the different proteins in the human body. Thanks to this, researchers specialized in a disease can study the protein involved online in an open access library and see exactly in which cells the protein is active. And now, this research has been taken even one step further. The researchers within the HPA are now mapping out the proteins in 3D. With the help of a new microscope, they can create micro-universes of protein structures. This makes it possible for Cecilia Linskoog to voyage through the pancreas to study the islets of Langerhans, the cells that produce the insulin. What you see here are the islets of Langerhans that are stained in green. In red, we see the nerves, and the nerves are surrounding the blood vessels. And we see here that they really form a fine network of nerve fibers that are surrounding the islets of Langerhans and are dispersed throughout the whole organ. And this is really interesting to see the details of this network and how they are spread in the three-dimensional structure. We can here see that islets of Langerhans have different sizes, and this is something we haven't seen before in our normal two-dimensional histological sections. But by here looking at pancreas in 3D, we can really see all the different sizes and how these different islets of Langerhans are distributed within the pancreas. If you would look at this image from a diabetes patient, you would see much fewer of these cells. Because in the first stage of the disease, the islets of Langerhans start to die, reducing their number and making it so that the few ones that are left have to work extra hard to produce enough insulin. But eventually, it will not be enough, and the patient will need treatment. It is amazing to see these beautiful images in 3D and we believe that by knowing the exact localization of these different structures and how they are distributed within the tissue constitute an important resource for future research around diabetes and trying to understand the different biological processes that are related to the disease. When we explore the world in new ways, we discover new things about us, about life itself. And now we see our proteins like we've never seen them before.